Your Excellency, Paul Kagame, the President of Rwanda, uh, Madam Secretary General Doreen, my sister and friend, Administrator Akim Steiner of uh, UNDP, and I often call him my partner in crime on the ground where we try to keep the promise of the SDGs. Excellencies, friends, ladies and gentlemen, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable De Development, we've heard in the last two days, it's off target, it's in peril. For the first time in decades, development progress is reversing under the combined impact of interconnected crises, be they climate, conflict, economic down turn, downturns, debt distress, and the lingering effects of COVID-19 pandemic with developing countries most hardly hit. And if the trend persists by 2030, a staggering 575 million people will remain trapped in extreme poverty and 84 million children will be out of school. At the midpoint of winning or losing humanity's most important race, the SDG Summit is a vital opportunity to move from rhetoric to action, to build on the successes that they have been in spite of all the crisis, in spite of our 15% of the targets being met, there still is some good news. The glass is some full, and so we need to take the rest of it to full at 2030. Friends, we are convinced that we can still turn things around. Today we start the second moment of the SDG Action Weekend. Today we focus on acceleration, our compass for the next seven years, if we really want to rescue that promise made to billions of people. Strong political will, and we just heard that from a great leader of ours on the African continent, Paul Kagame. Resources, solidarity, and knowledge can enable breakthroughs to a better future. Digital technologies can be at the heart of this acceleration. They are key drivers to put the SDGs back on track. We know that internet connectivity, especially in rural and developing areas, can rapidly accelerate economic growth, inclusive economic growth. We know that artificial intelligence can be used to track, manage, and even predict public health crises. And we know that the cost of renewable energy is dropping rapidly, and that digital technologies can provide benefits for climate, power system re resilience, especially in our developing countries. We know that women and girls are underrepresented in scientific fields. There's massive untapped capacity there that can be leveraged to make the next digital breakthrough in health, science, and technology. Digital technologies, when used safely and responsibly, can be the catalysts of economic, social, and societal transformations, real and deep transformations. By creating the efficiencies at scale and expanding the re reach of existing solutions to support many more people. From universal internet connectivity and infrastructure, building digital in in innovation, abilities and skills, to unlocking the promise of digital public services, as in health, education, capacity building and social protection, but also with impact on key sectors, such as climate, energy and food systems. And that really is what this session is all about. I'd like to commend Doreen and Akim for setting an example of leadership and partnership, collaborations across many countries, across many agencies and sectors. Initiatives from both organizations and other UN entities are bringing a wide range of partners around accelerating internet connectivity, leveraging data, and building digital literacy so important in our developing countries around the world. Their work is helping to get us back on track. I'm also pleased to announce the launch of the joint SDGs Fund new window on digital transformations. The SDG Fund is the UN flagship financing mechanism for trying to catalyze SDG acceleration at the country level. Leveraging the convening and the integrating power of the UN resident coordinators and our country teams, we will be able to support governments towards a digital transition act as a convener and facilitator in building critical partnerships and strengthening these ecosystems with the private sector and civil society. Thanks to the support and the leadership of the European Union as its first funder, this digital window will provide catalytic funds needed to trigger countries on their digital transformation journeys. However, we know that we need more resources so that we can raise the ambition, the scale and play to the urgency that is needed today. Ladies and gentlemen, in this upcoming year leading to the summit of the future, it's essential that we develop a joint vision of digital transformation. 
The Global Digital Compact put forward by our common agenda does set out principles, objectives and actions to advance an open, free, secure and a people-centered digital future. These as public goods that should be anchored in universal human rights and the SDGs. All of you are part of this journey of transformation, whether you're joining us physically here and stretching out to your networks or online, those of you that are joining us today, this is a collective endeavor. Together, let's explore ways to unlock the power of the digital world and accelerate the progress that we need to see with the SDGs. Let us continue to fight to win the promise of the SDGs in the second half and by 2030. I thank you.